Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, you see the airplane outside? Yeah, we are on the way to Hong Kong. Um, because the, by the way, we shipped the last week, just uh, arrived in Hong Kong. So we were going to there to replace the battery for the customer. Uh, so we will fly to Shenzhen first and we will stay in Shenzhen for one night. And then we will go to Hong Kong. Yeah, so see you guys in Hong Kong. Hello guys, welcome back. Yeah, finally we arrived here in Hong Kong. Yeah, and uh, this is our customer's car. It's a Nissan Leaf ZE1. And uh, there's something I have to tell you. The battery has already installed in the car by our partners in Hong Kong. So we don't need to install the batteries anymore. Maybe we can just get on the car and take a look at the data of the battery. All right, start the car. Record to parking mode. Restart the system to protect the battery of car. Driving mode to start recording. Safe driving. All right, so right now we can see SOC 81%. And it shows we have 408 km remaining of range. Energy economy is 14.3 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometer and uh, let me use the obd2 to check the battery okay so right now we can see ahr 200 and the line soh 99 percent hx 98 percent voltage now is 383 watt and the voltage difference is 20 line milliwatt. Okay, good. And take a screenshot. And the original 40 kilowatt hour battery pack is installed in this car. So let's get on the car and take a look. Alright, so right now we can see SOC now is 65% um, It shows we have 155 km Energy economy is 16.6 kWh per 100 km And let's take a look at the new spy Okay, so right now we can see AHR 103 SOH 89% HX, 78% Voltage now is 368 The voltage difference now is 20 mV Ok, take a screenshot And next, we will install this 62 kilowatt hour battery modules of ENV200 which was sent together with the 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. Uh, this owner originally planned to pick up the car next week, but uh, yesterday he told us he would pick it up tomorrow, which is why we asked our partners to install the 75 kilowatt hour battery pack in advance. As you can see, these are the separate modules, not a fully pack, so the installation is much more complicated. This is why we choose to install the 75 kilowatt hour fully pack first. Okay, now we are going to do the fast charging test. So let's go to the fast charging station. We will go to an underground parking lot of a shopping mall. We can fast charging there. But now there's no position for us, so 
We have to wait a while. Okay, it's our turn. Let's charge it. All right, it's faster charging here. So we can see the charging power is 29 kilowatt. The voltage now is 387 watt and the charging current is 77 amps. And let's take a look at the new spy. Now you can see the voltage now is 388 volt and uh, the current now is 65 amps. The voltage difference is 25 milliwatt. Good. Take a screenshot. So fast charging is normal. We just returned to the garage and our engineer and our partners are still installing here. It looks like there's still a lot of work to be done. Our engineer told us that it will take at least tomorrow to complete the installation. But our editor and I have booked a flight back to Hubei tomorrow morning. So we have to return to Shenzhen today. Anyway, we have successfully completed the 75 kilowatt hour battery swap on this Nissan Leaf ZE1. And the test results are still very good. I believe that the customer will be satisfied with the range. But uh, since the new pack is too heavy, the customer has to upgrade the rear suspension and we have to cut the battery case for this 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. So if you don't have special mileage requirement, we recommend you just to upgrade to 50 kilowatt hour or 62 kilowatt hour, which is easy to install. No need to cut the battery case, no need to upgrade the rear suspension and uh, more cost effective. Alright, so this is for today. Thanks for watching.